So our team from the University of St Andrews suggests a live stream panel based approach to tackling disinformation in public health. Uh, our aims are twofold. First, to counteract disinformation whilst connecting with disenfranchised communities. The second was to analyse trends to stay on top of the spread of popular disinformation. The panel itself would involve a variety of experts, including public health officials, academics, journalists and NATO representatives. Members of the public can submit questions relating to their public health concerns, which allows a focusing uh, of the discussion of the panel uh, towards current challenges of public health information. Um, the questions and responses given to the panel can later be used to create clips that can be shared across social media platforms uh, in, in order to combat common myths and pieces of disinformation, this in turn improving NATO's engagement factor. Each panel can be performed in different languages on a local, national or international level and shared across international media platforms uh, whilst targeting local disinformation. Uh, the procedure for the panel uh, will be a submission of questions through various social media accounts, uh, which will then be pre-vetted and selected to prevent the spread of further disinformation. Uh, the panel will also act as a verification process. So people from different backgrounds and specialities uh, all agreeing and discussing uh, the issue should validate the conclusions and arguments made. Uh, it will also be substantially more accessible to disenfranchised groups who don't traditionally engage with academic sources. Um, we also thought that given the public health focus of our stream, uh, that in the case of a public health crisis, such as COVID, uh, it, where in-person discussions were not viable, uh, the stream or the live stream uh, transcends lockdowns. Um, the fulfillment of criteria um, for creativity, we thought that live streams were accessible, engaging and cheap to produce, uh, digitally engaging content, uh, creating allowing a, uh, and allowing effective engagement uh, in comparison to traditional information formats. Uh, there's no issues regarding privacy uh, panelists will be found using public record and online events will be free to join and accessible to all language barriers could in the future be corrected by NOTO provided translators um, scalability uh, is where the live streams uh, could be based in each country uh, they could uh, use local representatives who speak languages and cultural and know the cultural norms uh, they can be expanded past just public health uh, to all of the uh, stream topics of today's events um, and also in-person events could be eventually implemented. Um, it's pretty cheap to uh, create these uh, uh, streams um, and social media accounts are obviously free. So the only cost that would be associated is hiring spaces, advertisement, um, and potentially paying people to run the social media accounts. Um, we feel that the verification process is the most important part because if people don't know what is truthful or what is not and how to trust individuals, a collective group is more trustworthy um, and therefore should counter disinformation more effectively. Thank you for listening.